Attention, duelists. Phoenix here, bringing you what is a bit of a different watch and learn. For me, at least. Probably not for you. Because, here's some behind-the-scenes info. Uh, I had been streaming using Twitch Studios, which is being shut down in, like, three days. So, had to switch to a different streaming service. Tried Streamlabs. Thought its audio mixer was not great. Switched to OBS. I like this more. So, this is the first stream in OBS. Let's hope it's fun for everyone. Did a couple of audio tests, and mostly I just need to be louder. So, if I'm loud, you know why. We got Rick of Plants. Sets one passes. Bad start. Opponent's turn. Activates Resonator Call, adding Crimson Resonator. Crimson Resonator effect, control no monsters, summon itself. Then summons Soul Resonator, which will add Bone Archfiend. Oh, he's got some Earthbound. Prisoner Stone Sweeper effect, revealing itself. Discarding it, add a level 3 lower Fiend Tuner. Called by will activate, targeting Stone Sweeper. Stone Sweeper is banished and negated. Bone Archfiend effect will then activate, send away Crimson Resonator to summon itself. It will then target Soul Resonator, send away Vision Resonator to modulate its level. Vision Resonator will then add Crimson Gaia. Soul Resonator and Bone Archfiend then sync together for Red Rising. Red Rising effect, target Vision Resonator, summon to the field. Those two will then sync together. Make Scarred Dragon Archfiend. Assault Synchron in hand. Summons itself, taking some damage. Specials out Synchron Resonator. Synchron and Scarred will make Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Synchron Resonator then targets Vision Resonator. Scarred Dragon Archfiend effect will also chain. Scarred will them special summon Red Dragon Archfiend from the extra deck. Synchron Resonator, adding Vision Resonator back to hand. Red Archfiend and Assault Synchron then sync together for Bestial Dispater. Bestial Dispater, target the Stone Sweeper, summon it back. Specials out Vision Resonator because he controls a level 5 or higher Dark Monster. Then activates Crimson Gaia. Crimson Gaia, adding Red Zone to the hand. Sets a card. Swings with the Archfiend Abyss. Afterwards, it will end summon Soul Resonator. Main Phase 2, Soul Resonator and Stone Sweeper sync together. Make Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. Scarlight and Vision Resonator then sync together. Make Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane. Then, pass turn. Ricka player draws. Activates Ricka Con Con. Opponent activates Red Zone in response. Snowdrop the Ricka Fairy effect. Con Con Lin tribute their opponent's monster, getting rid of the Archfiend Abyss to summon her and Mardell. Mardell effect, attempt to activate. Assault Synchron will chain, banishing itself. Summon back the Abyss. Mardell adding Ricka Princess. Player activates triple attack. Attempting to take control of an opponent's monster, Archfiend Abyss will activate to negate the triple attack. Ricka Con Con, then setting Ricka Glamour, Ricka Princess Effect, Bestial Dispater Chaining, targeting the Assault Synchron. Assault Synchron is shuffled back. Ricka Princess is stopped. Activates Glamour, tributing Mardell, adding Ricka Petal. And Sunseed Genus Loki. Summon Loki. Loki will link away for Sun Avalon Dryas. Dryas Effect, adding Sunvine Sewing. Activate Sunvine Shrine, pitching the Ricka Princess. Then activate Sunvine Sewing to get out Sunseed Twin. Sunseed Twin will target Genus Loci, and Sun Avalon Dryas will chain because they took damage. And then player activates Nibiru. Ricka Princess will then activate its effect, tributing Sunseed Twin to negate Nibiru. Draw 
Dryas summons Sunvine Healer and brings back Genius Loci. Healer points at the Dryas, gains some life points, link the two together. Mick, Aroma Seraphy, Jasmine. Jasmine effect, tribute Genus Loci. Summons out Aroma Mage Laurel. Laurel and the Rika will then link together for another Aroma Seraphy Jasmine. Laurel effect, make them gain life points. Because they gain life points, both Jasmines will chain. Gets a Therion Lily Borea. And Rose Girl. Lily Borea effect, target the Aroma Mage Laurel in Grave, equips it to itself, summons itself. Then gets rid of Laurel, adding Therion Discoliseum. Lily Borea and Aroma Seraphy Jasmine, then link together. Make Sun Avalon Melius. Melius effect. Attempt to summon a Lokai. Rose Girl will chain, summon herself. Lokai is back again. Lokai and Jasmine link together. Make another Melius. Melius will summon Lokai again. Lokai will then be used as material to make another Sun Avalon Dryas. Dryas effect, getting Sunvine sewing again. Use Sunvine Shrine, summon Genus Loki back from the grave, links it away. Sunvine Thrasher. Thrasher will target Melius, gain a bunch of stats. Melius using its effect, targeting Thrasher, then Melius and Dryas will make Sun Avalon Dryatanitary. It will use its effect, add Sun Avalon Bloom. Then the other Melius and Rose Girl will link together as well. Make Bengalancer the Resurgent. Dratenary will tribute Bengalancer. Destroy four cards in the opponent's field. Bengalancer will then banish Melius and Healer from the grave to summon itself back. Move to battle. Swing with Thrasher. Swing again, because Melius may be able to attack more times. And a third time for the game. Plants beats Red Dragon. A going first. It's hero time. Activates a hero lives. Summon Stratos. Stratos effect adding Vion. Summon Vion. Vion will send away Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist effect add Malicious. Vion effect banish Shadow Mist add Polymerization. Activate Polymerization. Fuse Vion with Malicious. Make Destiny Hero Dangerous. Dangerous effect. Discard Liquid, send away Denier. Malicious Engrave will bench itself, summon the twin. Then Dangerous and Malicious. Overlay for Beatrice. Alright, what are you doing? Beatrice, detach Malicious. Send away a card, which was Break the Destiny. Denier will then use its effect, summon itself back. Target the Banish Malicious, put it back on the deck. Malicious Engrave then bench itself, summon the one that was just put back. Break the Destiny will activate its effect. Banish this card, add one spell trap that mentions Destiny Hero Monsters, card name, or Destiny and Dragoon, except Break the Destiny. He adds D-Force. Activate D-Force, adding Plasma. Tributes his three heroes, summons Plasma. Activate Miracle Fusion. Fusing Liquid and Stratos to make Elemental Hero Flame Wingman Infernal Rage. Liquid Soldier Effect, Infernal Rage will chain. Adding Favorite Contact, Apple of Rage. Liquid Soldier Draw 2, Drop 1, Pitching Increase. Sets 2 cards and passes. Not a bad board. Opponent uses Illusion of Chaos. Adding Magician's Souls. Sends a mystery card back. Magician's Souls effect, sending away... I'm sorry, what? Spiral Master Plan, summoning itself. Beatrice will then chain. Detaching material, send away Neos. Player uses Dark Magic Veil, paying a thousand life points to summon Spiral Master Plan. Master Plan and Magician's Souls will then link together. Make Barricade Borg Blocker. Master Plan effect, adding Quick Fix. 
and Spiral Resort. Activate the resort. Then use the effect of MSD. Send itself and Kashira Unicorn away to get the Gold Sarcophagus. King Sarcophagus, my bad. And another card. Activate the Sark. Sark, pitch Imperm. Send away Kubanushef. Kebe Senuf. That's the word. Kebe Senuf, Protector of Forest. Then MSD will summon itself back from the grave. Keb will do the same. Resort will add Spiral Agent. Moves to battle. Hero player activates favorite contact. Opponent activates Called by the Grave, targeting Neos. Neos is banished. Favorite contact doesn't care that it's banished. And they summon Shining Wingman. Wingman will then target a bunch of cards, pop them. MSD is not destroyed. How are you protected? Were you protected by the Sark? Ah, King Sarcophagus protects if your monsters from being destroyed by card effects that do not target. And Shining does not target, so it worked. In exchange, MSD will just punch over Plasma. Increase will use its effect, putting itself in the back row. Main phase two, MSD and Keb are going to overlay, make the zombie vampire, use its effect to attach a unit, player uses Imperm, zombie vampire will not resolve effect, player then summons quick fix, their normal summon for the turn, which will add big red, activate big red, targeting master plan, summoning her back. Master Plan will add Spiral Mission Assault. Then Quick Fix and Master Plan will link together. Make Double Helix. Quick Fix Effect. Pitching the Assault Plan, summon himself back. Then adding Drone. Assault will banish itself. Summon the Drone from the hand. Spiral Super Agent will change the order of the cards on top of the deck. Sorry. Drone will change the order on top. Super Agent will then declare whatever it is, which is then checked, and they are correct because they stacked it, and summon another Master Plan. Master Plan will add another mission, this one Rescue. Then Double Helix and Master Plan link together. Make Selene Queen of the Master Magicians. Selene the Queen gets nine counters. Removes a bunch, summon back to Master Plan. Master Plan, add another mission rescue. Selene and Zombie Vampire then link together. Make Appaloozo, only a two stack. Quick Fix and Drone will then overlay. Make Ghost Trick Dulahan. Dulahan effect, attach a unit. Having the attack power of Shining. Then player uses Super Agent, declaring the card on top. They already know what it is. Summons itself. This will pop increase. Quick Fix and Grave. Pitch the rescue mission. Summon himself back. Gets Spiral Gear Last Resort. Quick Fix will then link himself away for Ling Karibo. Ling Karibo, Dulahan, and Master Plan all link together. Make Curious the Light Sworn. Curious will send away Anti Spell Fragrance. Then use its effect, mill 3. Rescue Mission will banish itself. Summon back Double Helix. Then Curious and Super Agent will link together. Make Nightmare Griffin. Nightmare Griffin effect, pitching a card. Resetting Anti Spell. Sets a card. And then I believe they lose due to time. Which this kind of deserved, because that was going on way too long. Duels A going first. Got some Horus, Wing Dragon, and Hand Traps. Activate Millennium Revelation. Discarding Ra, opponent activates Ash Blossom. 
Ash Blossom stops Revelation from adding a card. MSD will then send itself and Ghost Sister away to get King Sarcophagus. And draws one. Activate King Sark, summons back MSD. King Sark, pitching Droll and Lock, send away another card. Sark, pitching Maxi then, send away another card. Summons back Dumatef and Happy. MSD and Dumatef, overlay, make number 38. Fast turn. Not terrible. Opponent's turn, summons Gazelle. Gazelle will add Big Wing Burpa Met. Sets two, passes. I guess number 38's enough. King Sarcophagus pitching Blaze Cannon. Send away another card. Summon back Keb. Keb and Hoppy are going to overlay for number 68, Senaphon the Sky Prism. Number 38 swings over the Gazelle. Number 68 goes face. It will then detach a card and give itself protections. Sorry, not protections. Prevent. Neither play can special summon from the grave. Weird. Not really a problem against this, but regardless. Player summons another gazelle. Gazelle add Chimera Fusion. Activate Chimera Fusion. Hope Harbinger say no. Card is absorbed. Activates normal polymerization. Fusing gazelle with big wing fur. Make Chimera King. Chimera King effect. Gazelle effect. Gazelle adding Mirror Sword Knight. Chimera King will resolve later. Move to battle. Leave battle. Pass turn. No card for Chimera King to rip. Passing turn. Activates True Sun God. Getting Immortal Ra Phoenix Mode. Millennium Revelation. Pitch that. Get Monster Reborn. Use Millennium Revelation. Send itself away. Hoppy is then summoned back. Player activates Monster Reborn, targeting Ra. Ra is summoned. True Sun God, send itself away. Send Ra away. Immortal Phoenix will then activate. Summon itself to the field. Pays a thousand life points. Gets rid of Chimera King. Move to battle. Punch face. Chimera King will banish itself. Target Big Wing. Summon it to the field. Big Wing is summoned. Chain Super Poly. Pitching the third Gazelle. Big Wing and Senaphon will fuse. Make Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Big Wing will then add Chimera Fusion. Happy Effect. Target some cards. Starving Venom will activate. Targeting Immortal Ra, becoming the biggest guy on the board. Winged Dragon's added back to hand. Senaphon is returned. Ra will pay 1,000. Send away Starving Venom. Cab will then bring itself back. Overlay with Hoppy. Remake Senaphon. Senaphon will detach a unit. Immortal Phoenix will then send itself away. Summon Ra Sphere Mode. Passing turn. Dual Speed activates Feather Duster. Number 38, say nuh uh. Then summons Mirror Sword Knight, tributes itself, summoning Big Wing Burf. Big Wing, add Chimera Fusion. Pass turn. I think he has two Chimera Fusions in hand. Duelist A gets Walls of the Imperial Tomb, activates it. Hoppy brings itself back. Walls will add Horus the Black Flame Dragon, get rid of Ra, putting it back in the deck. Horus will get rid of King Sarcophagus, get rid of the opponent's set second Super Poly. Then King Sarcophagus, because he activated the effect of Horus the Black Flame Deity, draws a card, which is Canoptic Projector. Protector. Then tributes Ra Sphere Mode, summoning Ra. Ra gains 4,000 stats for being summoned this way, pays 1,000, getting rid of Big Wing Burf. Wide open opponent, swing Ra. Praise Ra! And the match is over. I do appreciate Duelist A going all in on the Ra stuff with the various new Egypt-themed stuff. 
Xenophon was an odd choice, but it did help him. Alright, Hare Dogmatica. Makanko Dogmatica. Opponent summons Dynamorphia Diplos, sends away Domain, sets three, passes. Fastest turn one we've seen today. Wow, another Water Arabesque. Activates Preparation of Rights. Getting Ohime. Summon Hare. Activate Water Arabesque. This will add Maya Washidori. Activates Reflection Rondo. Stealing Diplos. Ohime, use her effect. Add Makanko Ceremony. Pitch Maya Washidori. Activate Ceremony. Summon Ohime. Hey, Respawn Boy. Haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? Water Arabesque will inactivate. Summoning Q Lee. Switching focus onto that. Bouncing Haure. Q Lee add Rivalry. Ohime. Put on Maya Washidori. All the stuff is on Q Lee. Swings with her. Is able to bounce an opponent's card. Pass his turn. Life does keep happening. Opponent's turn. Set two. Passes. Ohime is bounced. Player draws another Makanko Ceremony. Use Ohime. Add Fire Dance. Pitch Maximus. Activate Ceremony. Summon Ohime. Activate Fire Dance. Summons Hare, which has Fire Dance on it. Gets another Maya Washidori. Diplos is used as Link Material. Or Salaman Great All Mirage. Activates Makanko Rivalry. Putting Double Edged Sword onto Hugh Lee. Hugh Lee will then add Makanko Spirit Walk. Move to battle. Swing Hugh Lee. Opponent takes 2,000 twice. Then Hugh Lee is bounced. Oh, he might effect will activate. Put the double-edged sword on herself. Swings. Deals 2,000 battle damage and 2,000 more. Poor Dynamorphia. You activated one card effect. Alright, Snake Eyes Cash. This is a bit more typical. Opponent activates Ice Jade Cradle. That's not normal. Adding Agrin. Summon Agrin using her effect. Adding another Ice Jade Cradle. Activate Cradle. Adding Ran Agrin. Ran Agrin effect. Discarding Deep Sea Diva. Summon Self. And make a token. Self and token, then sync together. Make Jameer Agrin. Uh, does this guy have anything weird in his extra? Zelantis is a weird choice. Two SP Little Knight feels excessive. No Promethean Princess. Nope, there's Promethean Princess. That yeah, doesn't seem. Formula Synchron's an odd choice to have here. Not unsummonable, though. Player activates Synchro Overtake. Yeah, Snake Eye is a huge problem that it's just not being addressed by ban lists, which I don't enjoy at all. No one does. Overtake revealing Deep Sea Repetiteur, which will then add Deep Sea Diva. Ends turn. Tools A summons Fenrir. Fenrir will swing at Agrin. Jameer Agrin will chain. Normal Agrin chaining to that. Summoning back Ran Agrin. Fenrir is banished. Curry card to incarnate will then tribute basic Agrin and Jameer. Summon herself. Really big. Summon Snake Eye Birch by its own effect of having a fire monster. Called by to get rid of Jameer. Birch will then link away for Ling Karibo. Link Karibo and Div Incarnate then make SP Little Knight. SP Little Knight. Banish the opponent's Agrin from Grave. Then, the Ran Agrin on board will be bounced. Activates Forbidden Droplet, Pitching Sync for Overtake. SP will be negated. Then, use Ran Agrin effect. Pitching Mermail Abyssinary. Summon itself in a token. Summon Deep Sea Diva. SP will attempt to use effect, but will be negated. Diva resolves. Summoning Guitar Grenards. 
Punt loses some cards. Guitar Gennards modulates level. Sync together with Deep Sea. Make Prima Donna. Prima Donna will target the opponent's banished bonfire. Let them get it back. Summon Agrin. Agrin was summoned at Ice Jade Manifestation. Agrin and Prima Donna sync together. Make Supreme Sovereign Cheng Ying. Prima Donna effect. Target Jameer. Spin her back into the extra deck. Ran Agrin and Ice Jade. Token. Then remake Jameer. Activates Manifestation. Summoning Creation Agri. Agriocrasis. Jameer will then swing over Little Knight. Cheng Ying goes face. And Agriocrasis goes face as well. Surprising no one more than me, Ice Jade wins! Cyber Machina Therion with Time Tearing Morganite. I expected more from the cash at least. Player summons Planet Pathfinder, tributes it. Adding the Imperial Tomb. Activate Imperial Tomb. Tomb effect. Getting a Mesty. Putting one back. A Mesty effect. Send itself and Happy away. Get King Sarcophagus. And another card. Activate Sarcophagus. MST and Happy come out, make Zombie Vampire. You're not wrong, Respawn. This is pretty basic big machine go big. And checking the extra deck, only one infinity. Yeah, this is definitely more of a rampage focus. Zombie Vampire effect. Summons their own Earthbound Prisoner, Groundkeeper. That's unexpected. Then is able to special summon out Stone Sweeper thanks to Groundkeeper. Those two will then sync together. Make Earthbound see it. Servant. Was that Geo Gremlin? That is in fact called Geo Gremlin. King Sarcophagus Fix send away Naturia Camellia. Send away Dumatef. Dumatef will then bring itself back. Yeah, and it didn't even do that right. Player sets two cards, uses Therion King effect, targeting their Cyber Dragon core in Grave, summons himself, equips the core, Gremlin effect, Regulus effect, popping himself to chain and negate. Gremlin is stopped, activates Time Tearing Morganite, summons Cyber Dragon Hers, Hers will link away for Link Karibo, Hers was sent to Graveyard, adds Cyber Dragon core. Summon Core. Core adds Cyber Emergency. This certainly is an emergency. Activates it, adds Elton in. Vanishes hers and Core to summon Elton in. Elton in will send all of the face up monsters to the graveyard. I guess it did its job. However, this enables the player to summon Horus the Black Flame Dragon. Black Flame Deity. My mistake. Imperial Tomb will then activate, drawing a card. Passes. Feather Duster, sweeping up the back row. Chain, Unending Nightmare, target King Sarcophagus, using its effect, paying a thousand to destroy it. Sweeps up the rest of it, though. Cybernetic Overflow was sent away, so that oh, Cyberlord Fusion. Dumatef will bring itself back, as will Hoppy. Summon Plague Spreader Zombie. This is so many weird cards you have. Make Baron de Fleur. MSD brings itself back. Swing Dumatef, swing Horus Deity, and Baron for game. I do think it is a bit much for all these Horus cards being able to just summon themselves back from the graveyard. We all Monster Reborn down here. Duels B going first. More Horus stuff. Sets three. 
uses Wannabe, sending itself away. Setting Solemn Strike. Passing. Gets Cypher Gear Gamma, a bit too late. Summon Camellia. Opponent activates Dynamorphia Domain, paying half their life points to Fuse. Fuse, Diplos, and Theresia. Make Kentrogena. Camellia sends away Sacred Tree. Sacred Tree effect attempt to activate. Kentrogena paying half life points to be able to use Domain once again. Fuse herself with Theresia from the deck. Make Rex Term. Sacred Tree, Adnaturia Blessing. MSD effect, send itself in Sacred Tree away. Get King Sarcophagus. And another Cyframe Gear Gamma. Sacred Tree effect, get another Blessing. Activate the Blessing. Summon Sunflower. Activate King Sarcophagus. Amesti can bring itself back. Activate Solemn Strike. That gets rid of Amesti. King Sarcophagus. Send away Gamma. Send away another card. MSD will bring itself back again. Kebes was sent away. Activates Dynamorphia Reversion. Paying half the life points. Copying Solemn Strike. MSD is back once again. How many times we got to teach you this lesson, old man? Uh, Solemn Strike. I don't think so because I think it's more of a passive effect that King Sarcophagus is up. That enables things to come back, not its own effect. So I don't think Solemn Strike works on it. Yeah, Strike's only monster effects. Still super annoying that Amesti came back three times. Rex Term using its effect, paying half their life points, weakening all the opponent's monsters. Cab then comes out. King Sark, send away Gamma again, send away Hoppy. Hoppy comes out. Sunflower and Camellia make Barkeon. It was a bit too quick on the draw using Rex Term's effect. Activates Blessing. Summon back Camellia. Use five monsters. Make Underworld Goddess. Dual Speed put themselves at 125. It's all good. There's a lot of cards in this game. Got a Swing. Reversion using its effect. Vanish itself so they take no damage. But then Barkeon swings and that's game. Three MSD summons. Annoying. Duelist B going first. Jesus Christ, what is Duelist A on? Duelist B sets two passes. Duelist A. Play a Super Heavy Samurai Prodigy Wakaoshi in the Pendulum Zone using its effect. Put Super Heavy Samurai Monk Ben K. Moves himself forward. Gets Soul Piercer. Soul Piercer then links away for Samurai Scarecrow. Soul Piercer effect getting Motorbike. Motorbike effect. Pitch itself. Gets Soul Peacemaker. Scarecrow. Pitch Shine Ball. Target Piercer. Duels B with the Maxi. Bit late on that one. Maxi resolves. Piercer is out. Piercer and Wakaoshi will sync together. Make Excel Synchro Stardust. Synchro Stardust effect. Soul Piercer effect. And Wakaoshi chain link 3. Wakaoshi goes back to the Pendulum Zone. Soul Piercer gets him a card, which is another motorbike. And Excel will bring back the first motorbike. Motorbike and Excel sync together. Make Baron de Fleur. Baron effect. Popping a set card. Player chains rescue ace airlifter. Duelist A uses their own maxi. Player activates their imperm in the column with Baron and Big Monk Ben K. Airlifter resolves. Summoning Preventer. Soul Peacemaker puts itself onto Samurai Scarecrow, then using its effect, tributing that, summons Scales. Scales will summon back Motorbike. 
Motorbike modulates its level, sing together with scales. Make Borload Savage. Savage equipping itself with Scarecrow. Then Pendulum Summon. Diviner of Herald, Motorbike, and Wakaushi. Diviner send away Trias Harmonica. Wakaushi and Motorbike link together. Make Sprite Elf. Sorry, not Harmonica, Hierarchia. Hierarchia will tribute Diviner, summon itself back. Diviner was tributed. Summon Bhutan. Bhuten. Bhuten and Trias sync together. Make Master Flare Hyperion. Master Flare, send it away Venus. Using its effect, summon the Shine Ball. Use it again, summon a Shine Ball. Two Shine Balls for the price of two Shine Balls. Link together. Make Protector of the Agents, Moon. Moon effect, send away Majesty Hyperion. Then tribute itself, get rid of the opponent's Preventer. Move to battle, swing Borload, swing Master Flare. I want to pause real quick just so we can check this. 15 cards in hand, and you didn't get anything to stop this. And Baron swings for the finish. He fed the Max C and was not punished. Crazy. Oh yeah, I'm going to adjust that. Let me see. Because right now, I might look a tad insane. Because that does not show up on the view. Now watch yours. Let's do this one, and then I will watch whatever you got. And I'm just now realizing that with OBS, I do not have the chat overlay automatically show up on the stream. So I might look a tad insane. Love to find out how to put that scene into the thing. Learning process. Anyway, hero time. Start with a Rota. Get Stratos. Stratos is out. Heck, I'll watch all of them. Stratos add Ferris. Ferris effect. Pitching Malicious, summon self. Vion is set, Vion tribute Ferris, summon self. Sorry, increase, summon out Vion. Then send away Denier, feels wrong. Vion banish Ferris, get polymerization. Link together Vion on increase, make Infernal Divisor. Divisor reveals Shining Neos Wingman, adding Neos. Activate polymerization, fusing Stratos with Neos. Make Flame Wingman Infernal Rage. Infernal Rage effect, add favorite contact. Infernal Rage, tribute self. Summon Sunrise. Sunrise, add Miracle Fusion. That's sick. I'm a neat. Sunrise and Divisor, make Wonder Driver. Malicious Engrave, banish self. Summon the twin to the zone Wonder Driver points to, which will add polymerization back. Setting it. Denier then summon self. Put the Banished Malicious back in the deck. Activate Poly. Fuse Denier and Malicious. Make DPE. Activate Miracle Fusion. Fuse Infernal Wing with Neos. Make Wake Up your Elemental Hero. DPE. Pop itself and Wake Up. Wake Up Effect. DPE Effect. Will do. Summons out Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist add Mask Change. Sets his cards. Pass his turn. A pretty strong setup from the hero. DPE will bring himself back. In the zone, one driver points to. Resetting Miracle Fusion. Player activates Drytron Fafnir. Mask Change effect. Targeting Shadow Mist. I'd feel worse about it being Floodgate Turbo if his opponent wasn't trying to get out the Herald of Perfection. Shadow Mask turns into Dark Law thanks to Mask Change. Maxi gets one card. Gets Drytron Nova off of Fafnir. Dark Law effect. Shadow Mist chaining. 
Shadow Mist add Honest Neos. Dark Law getting rid of the Nova. Player activates Triple Attack. Drawing two. Activate Cyber Emergency. Getting Alpha Thuban. Alpha Thuban effect. Tribute Delta Atelius. Gets Ben 10 then. Use the effect of... Never heard of this card in my life. Ultimate Bright Knight Ursatron Alpha. Which is summoned by controlling an Ursartic or Drytron. Weird. Is able to add Ursartic Drytron. Activates it. Favorite contact is activated in response. Neos in Infernal Rage. Make Shining Neos Wingman. Player is able to summon Ultimate Flagship, Ursatron. Shining Neos will then activate. Clearing the opponent's board. Gamma Elton will then activate. Tributing Ben 10, summon self. Ben 10 is tributed. Add Vanity's Ruler. You're disgusting. DPE will then pop the Elton in. Activates effect. Come back later. He has lethal on board without DPE. DPE comes back though anyway. Wonder Driver. Set Polly. Move right from main to battle. Save us all some time. Swing Shining and Dark Law for the game. Got that autoplay. And I should be able to find your replays just from the friends list. All right. Let's start at the bottom. Get to the top. Snake Eye. Summon Snake Eye Ash. Adding Poplar. Poplar is added. Poplar add Divine Temple. Activate Divine Temple. Setting Flamberge. Poplar then links away for Ling Karibo. Poplar sent to Graveyard. Put itself in the back row. Snake Eye Ash. Send itself in Ling Karibo away. Opponent chains Ash Blossom. Showed a lot of restraint holding back on that until now. Set Forbidden Droplet. Pass. Player summons Alubur, Jester of Despia. Divine Temple will activate target Poplar. Effect Veiler, Chain, targeting Alubur. Alubur negated, no adding. Poplar moves forward. Poplar was summoned. Add Sinful Spoil Snake Eye. Opponent with the Feather Duster. Link Karibo. Tribute Poplar. Summon itself back. Feather Duster. Sweep, sweep. Poplar was sent to Graveyard. Flambridge will also chain. Sent to Graveyard. Poplar and Ash come back. Then Poplar will reset Flambridge. Ash will add Oak. Player uses Triple Tech Thrust, adding Branded Fusion. Activate Branded Fusion. Send away Lubellion and Fallen of Albaz. Make Albion. Albion effect. Fusing Saranir with Albaz. Make Lubellion. Lubellion effect, pitching Nibiru. Fuse itself with Fallen of Albaz. Make Mirror Jade. Albion tributed to summon back Fistial Lubellion. Fistial Lubellion effect. Setting Branded Regained. Mirror Jade will send away Titanticlad to banish the Ling Karibo. Branded Regained will then activate. Put Ling Karibo back in the extra, draws a card. Gets Magnumut, summons it by banishing Effect Veiler. Magnumut will activate during the instep. Alibur swing over Poplar. Lubellion swing over Ash. Mirror Jade go face. Magnum up with the follow up. Pass turn. Titanic Lad doing the end step will summon Quem. Quem will then send away Cartesia. 
Brandon Banishment is set, and Magnum will add Albion the Shrouded. Draw Dia Bellstar for turn. Activate Sinful Spoil Subversion. Sliding Mirror Jade to the back row. Summon Oak. Oak will summon Poplar. Poplar will add Dramatic Snake Eye Chase. Oak send itself in Flamberge away. Summon a Flamberge. Flamberge that was sent away will activate. Summoning Oak and Ash. Where's Thorn? Opponent activates Branded Banishment, targeting Albion. Albion is summoned. Then that and Magnumut will be fused for Borload Furious. That's a tech choice. Birch is added off of Poplar. 